Hey guys! <laughs> Welcome back today. I am going to be doing this makeup look. It's uh, very simple. Only used one eyeshadow and two different pairs of eyelashes. <laughs> uh, yeah. This is what I usually do whenever it comes to fall. I know that everybody does this whenever it's like summer, but it just melts right off of me and I have such dry skin anyways. So whenever it goes into the winter months, I need more than I do during the summer. So yeah, I hope you guys like this look and let's get into the video. <laughs> I am loving this fall weather so much. I love this weather that it's turning out to be. I am so over summer. I am ready to move on to fall, move on to bonfires and sweaters and uh, thicker leggings because I wear leggings all year long. <laughs> um, but yeah, I am. I'm all for it right now. Right now it's about 70 degrees, but the low, let me see. Yeah, the low tonight is 44. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh my <clears throat> Sorry, I took my Clinique moisturizer. Um, yeah, I am really excited. We, our main trip is in three weeks, I believe. Yeah, it's, uh, let's see. We leave the 23rd. Oh. Two weeks. Today's the eighth. Woo! Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. <clears throat> okay, moving on. Sorry, I just had to vent in a good way about how excited I am for fall. I am going to go in with my Cover FX Dewy Skin Primer. Uh, this stuff is literally grease in a bottle. This is pure baking grease. <laughs> But what I like to do uh, is take it on my cheekbones and a little bit under my eyes because that's probably the driest part on my face is underneath my eyes. So this definitely helps. Okay, a little bit on my nose. A little bit more. Oh yeah, see that? Oh my gosh. This stuff is really good. Um, I saw Tati talk about the gripping primer and I saw that they had this and I'm like, shoot. Well, because they were out of the gripping one. That's the reason why I was going on there to get it. But I saw that they had that, so I just went ahead and tried that and I'm really, really happy that I did. Uh, I'm going to go in with the It Cosmetics CC Illumination Cream. This stuff is so good, it's full coverage. Um, this is the only full coverage foundation that looks relatively good on me. Relatively. <laughs> but it's really good. I do like it. It's got a lot of luminosity to it. But it is way too dark for my skin tone. Yeah, and this is in Fair. Girl, who? This is, mm, mm What I'm going to do, I can't seem to stop trying to get this to work for me. So I'm going to try mixing it. I think that'll really... I don't know, maybe it'll work. Because this is like two shades too light for me. So I'm going to mix it in with it. I'm just going to put like that much. Yeah, that looks good. Work. Oh. Might be a little bit too light. No, actually, I think it'll work. In the camera, it looks way lighter than it actually is, but I'm looking at my mirror right here and it looks actually pretty good. So, I mean, yeah, that'll work just fine. I'm probably putting on way too much because I know that the Smashbox foundation, a little goes a long way. Okay, I'm gonna take my Beauty Blender and the excess off my hand and go in. Gosh, this It Cosmetics foundation smells like lemon treats. Oh, it smells so good. Mm. 
my son and my husband are downstairs playing. <laughs> so if you hear anything, that's what it is. His dad is definitely his favorite person in the world. Uh, besides uh, Grandpa. He loves Grandpa. Okay. <laughs> what are you guys doing? I guess they can't hear me. Oh my gosh. Okay, now I'm gonna take the Fenty Concealer in 120. I haven't been putting it directly underneath my eyes and that has been helping. Cause like I said, like everything looks so cakey underneath my eyes, but this has actually been working pretty well for me. I'm gonna take the E8 brush and blend it out. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, before I say anything, I am going to go ahead and highlight my face. Let's see, how do, which highlighter do I want to use? Oh, gosh, I have so many and it's hard for me to choose. Hold on. Okay, I'm going to take the Anastasia So Hollywood Illuminator. Oh, gosh. Oh, God. When makeup comes to me, it dies. <laughs> There's nothing more I could say. So yeah, before I said anything, I am going to highlight my face just because it sticks a lot better to when your face is already tacky and I'm going to go overboard with it. I got a makeup for me not using highlighter in my other makeup tutorial. <laughs> Oh, this highlighter is m my absolute favorite. And that's hard to say because all I feel like all highlighters are pretty, but just there's something about this one. Oh my God. Ooh, someone's looking greasy. Okay, I'm gonna go with my Too Faced bronzer and Sweet Tea. And hit all the areas that you normally would. Try to flick it towards like the middle of your face. I don't know if I'm going to go in with blush today. I don't know. I always say that and then I go in with blush. <laughs> I've tried so many times to contour my nose, like actually get a, uh, a small pencil and actually do what you're supposed to do and the bake on the sides and it just, well, I am just not good at that. I watch so many tutorials on how to do it and they make it look so effortless, but I do feel like because they already have perfect noses, so it's easier for them. I mean, it's not bad. I'm not saying that. I'm not complaining, I, but you know. I want to blend out my under eyes one more time before I set it. Just so there's not any creases. I'm not baking the creases either. Um, I'm gonna go in with my usual Maybelline Fit Me powder in Fair. Yeah, 05 Fair, but right here. I'm going 
going to sit. Ooh, yeah. All right, hold on. Let me blend this out real quick. Now, me personally, you don't have to do this if you really like the glue right here, which I do. But if I don't set my forehead, it creases so bad on me. I don't know if you can see or not just yet. But mm, maybe you can't see it because I literally just blended it out. Set that part right there. And I am going to set like my crease in my chin. Okay, I think I'm gonna go on with blush. <laughs> um, let's see, what blush do I wanna use? Do I wanna do more coral, pinky, mauve Maybe I'll just go in with every single color. There we go. Blush was a good option and I'm glad I did it and I don't regret it. And another reason why I did my highlighter before um, setting my face is because once everything kind of lays on top of it, it doesn't look like a huge stripe on your face. It just kind of fades in with your blush and your bronzer and your foundation and it looks way more natural even though I'm clearly not going for natural. That is not <laughs> what I want to do but it does look a little bit more natural than just putting it right on top of it. Now I'm going to set my face with the Catrice Dewy Glow Fixing Spray. I can only use a little bit of this because this keeps my makeup so freaking tacky. I don't know what it is about it. It just does, I don't know. Now I'm going to do my eyebrows off camera because everybody has their personal preference about how they do their eyebrows, so I'll be right back. And we're back and very up close. Uh, so for my eye makeup, I'm not really wanting to do much to it. I just wanna use one color and then highlight my inner corner and my brow bone, and that's it. I don't wanna spend much time on anything. I'm gonna take one of my dirty brushes, the dirtier the better, Oh yeah, that's pretty dirty. We'll go with that one. Okay, this is the R37 by Morphe, and I'm just gonna go gonna go with my uh, Z palette. Uh, it just looks like this. It's not. I'm pretty sure this is a yeah. This is a mix of different brands. We've got Makeup Geek. We've got Mary Kay blushes that I've had for like 10 years. Uh, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this color right here. I believe this is from ColourPop. Let me get it out. It's called Paper Tiger. I don't know what the hell that means, but that's what we're going to go in with. Whenever I do a really glowy makeup, not, oh my gosh, I don't know what I'm saying. Whenever I do really glowy makeup, yeah, uh, I don't like to do much with my eyeshadow. I feel like I want the focus to be very much on the skin. So whenever I have both, it just kind of throws it off. I don't know. That could completely change. Just like me putting concealer underneath my eyes. I said that I wasn't going to do it. It looks cakey, but I'm still doing it. <laughs> it looks so, it looks really subtle, um, like in the mirror, but it looks so intense on camera. I'm gonna take a brush with nothing on it and go over the edges. 
I say nothing, but this has probably got like some brown on it. <laughs> I have such wrinkly eyelids. I like to pull, but I know that if I pull like right now with my face being tacky like this, uh, it's going to remove the foundation. And that is the one thing about doing glowy looks like this is that no matter what, it's going to transfer and it's going to come off. It's just, this is only probably going to last you. Oh gosh, I just kicked my camera. Like three hours at best <laughs> don't wear this makeup if you're going to like a party or an event just put it on so you can take good selfies that's it i'm just kidding i'm just kidding that i'm over exaggerating it does last a little bit longer than that but on my skin not so much if i wear a matte foundation it will not last i mean it will last on me but it looks terrible it doesn't look good. Uh, I cannot find the cap to this. I mean, story of my life. Where, where the hell did it go? I don't know. Okay, that's all I'm going to do with my eyes. Very simple. I don't want to do much. Uh, I'm going to coat my lashes with Too Faced Better Than Sex and then put on some falsies. Oh, found the cap. Okay, so my lashes today are uh, House of Lashes and Lashaholic. Uh, I realize these are two different lashes. I cannot find the other lashes to these pairs at all. So I'm going to take two different lashes and hopefully it works. Okay, well these don't look anything the same. <laughs> Hold on, maybe if I coat these lashes a little bit more, and then, that's what I'm gonna do. I mean, it doesn't look terrible, <laughs> but it doesn't, look good. Eh, who cares? It's fine. Okay, let's see. Which lip pencil is this? Okay, I'm gonna go in my ColourPop BFF. Is this the lippy? Yeah, lippy pencil. Oh, I gotta do my under eye. Okay, I'm going to take my E18 brush and I'm going to go back in with the same color that I used for my uh, lid. Alright, let me zoom you out. This is it's so close. with the M213 and I'm gonna go in with, what is this shade? I think it's Shimmer Shimmer. Yeah, Shimmer Shimmer by uh, Makeup Geek. This stuff is so intense, oh my gosh. Well, my camera died, and I went ahead and put some uh, lower lash mascara on, and I went over my face with a beauty blender one more time, just to make sure that everything is kind of blended together <clears throat> and not too much. Uh, so for my lips, I am going to go in with Nude Cream by Milani. This is my favorite nude lipstick of all time.
Okay, and then I'm gonna top it off with the Dominique Cosmetics Lemonade Lip Gloss. No, Strawberry Lemonade Lip Gloss. It's my face one more time with the L'Oreal Lumi Dewy setting spray. Yep. Oh my gosh, this smells so good. It's almost like a dial down of MAC Fix Plus. Okay, guys, this is the finished look. Uh, it is very glowy and dewy, and hopefully you can find some lashes that actually match, but I had to do what I had to do. But yeah, I hope you guys like the video, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!